OBS is super powerful and streaming has become more mainstream than ever. Elgato has come out with a lot of new products, but as you may be wondering, or as you may be going through setting up new devices and figuring out new things, you may also have old equipment that you want to use still. I currently still have the original HD60 when it came out from Elgato, and I am going to be setting that up today on a new workstation that we're going to be using for recording and streaming on Adventures in Gaming. Make sure you go check them out. And to do that, I have to install a couple things. So this is a brand new workstation that I've been working on. Uh, we set it up in our living room. We have Steam installed. Um, I did put OBS and OBS Streamlabs desktop, which we'll be showing how to install later. Um, but we're going to just kind of go through the steps to see if we can get the Elgato working and how to check and make sure things are recording properly. So come join me today. Welcome back to Facepalm Studio. What we want to check, we want to do a couple things here. So right now I'm recording with OBS, um, but I do want to set up Streamlabs desktop because that's going to have a little bit more of the chat integration, some of the voice features and stuff that we're looking for. Um, and to get just general use case set up for this workstation. So let's go ahead and do some preliminary work. So right now I have the Elgato plugged in, but if we go into my device manager here, it isn't going to be able to work yet because I don't have the drivers installed. So we need to draw, install the software that's going to allow those drivers to work. So we're going to navigate over to Elgato's website. Okay. So like I said at the beginning of the video, they have a lot of new hardware out. I'm actually really interested in this 4K X, maybe a video on that soon, um, or this 4K Pro. I haven't quite decided what I'm looking for next. But um, what I want to go through today is how to set up older equipment because a lot of people are working with stuff that maybe isn't fully updated or if it's new equipment to them, um, but just getting started on their streaming journey, they might be able to save a little bit by getting one of these older cards. Um, they do have quite a bit of products for these. So if we go over to capture here, the HD60, oops, silly thing. The HD60X is another version, kind of like the 4KX, but they also have a couple of these other um, accessories here. So, but these are the main line of their video capture. But we're going to go into depth a little bit more of what what I what I'm using today. So let's go ahead and go over to the download section here. And what we are going to need is we're going to need to find what's supported for our device. So right now I have the HD 60 S I believe is what it would be considered. Um, so I'm going to have to download the 4k capture utility. That's going to allow us to have the, um, response, the responses and to be able to add this device to Streamlabs. So we're going to want to install that here. Hey there, Nick from the future here. I really screwed up when I was installing this and it took me about probably 15 minutes to find the right drivers. So I'm going to save you from some of that. I will hit the highlight points that I get for some of these software packages, but I'm going to skip ahead to where I actually got things working. So thanks. Just want to let you guys know. <laughs> right now, if we want, we could also install camera hub because I think we will need that in the future. Cause I'm going to be using that with Epo cam a little bit. That's what I'm currently using for a recording. Cause right now I'm, capturing the camera on my Mac, but then doing the actual computer capture over here. Um, but in the future, we're going to need to have the camera set up on there as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download that as well while we're at it. Okay, camera hub just downloaded. So let's go ahead and run. We're going to run the capture utility first. I'm just going to click through the setup wizard. So if you want to go through this with me, you'll just go ahead and hit next. I accept all the terms. It's going to download to your default profile. So if you have a different hard drive in this computer right now, I only have one hard drive, but if you have another hard drive that you want to save these files to go ahead and route to that now. Um, but I'm just for the sake of this, I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit install. It's going to ask you to approve uh, the sign in with um, your admin credentials. So you'll say yes here and we'll go ahead and say finish. And now that's going to load up for the first time. Give that a second to boot up. I think it's gonna load up the first time. I'm gonna boot it up for the first time. And it's a little angry. So let's go ahead and get this on the screen here. Okay, so this is right now looking for Screen Link, which is a software you can use with your iPad or your, um, here, I can show that as an example actually. So if you're using Screen Link, you can actually link your device 
and it will record that device instead. So let me open up Screen Link on here. Okay, camera should be back up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so once we connect the Screen Link, you can see here that we are now screaming and seeing my iPad screen. So now if I was to go back to my screensaver here, you'll see that I have my different applications and you can see that I'm capturing my iPad. So super handy if you're looking to do a quick capture that way. Um, there is also more capture software involved with the iPad. Maybe we'll do a couple of videos with that later. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that screen recording so we can go on to this next steps to see if we can get the Elgato hooked up. So let's go ahead and go back up to these settings for the capture utility. And right now it doesn't look like that it is finding the drivers for, it, for this. So let's do a little bit of troubleshooting. So let me hit cancel on here. We're gonna go ahead and close out of the 4K capture utility. And let's go back to Elgato's website and let's see if there's any drivers we can download for this. Okay, yep, so here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need, since I'm using an older capture card, we're gonna need older Elgato Game Capture HDS driver. So we're gonna go ahead and download that driver here as well. And that's going to allow us to use this graphics cards or this um, capture device. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And we're going to say install. We'll say next and close. And now when we open up 4K capture utility, bring that back down here. I'm not sure why it keeps doing that. Probably because it's a... Uh, capturing 4k but this doesn't really care for 4k now if we go over to device we can drop this down maybe hmm we set this to default Epo came on iPhone huh it is still not seeing my driver okay so let's do a little bit more troubleshooting with this discard and this is one of those moments I was just trying to set this up for the first time. I thought it'd be a good way to show you guys. So this is a good way to show how to troubleshoot this kind of stuff. Um, last Elgato Game Kit HG60 Pro. This is what we want. Okay, I'm back. So let me let me cancel out of this. So what we need is this Game Capture 3.7. This is going to work with the HG60. That's the issue that I was having. So let's go ahead and save this one. And we'll go ahead and run this. This is similar but it works a little differently. So we'll say next, okay. Um, we don't, mm, I'm going to uncheck sound capture for now because I never really use it. I use just built-in ones through like um, OBS anyway, but this is required to be able to use this with OBS, which is the next part we're gonna be going into. Take a big old break. All right, now we're going to say finish. Now this software, Game Capture HD, is going to allow me to see my old, older hardware. So let's boot that up. And we'll already see here that it's initializing the HD60. And it really likes this big old, it really does just take up the whole screen, doesn't it? Why is it doing that? Come on, buddy. I'm gonna go into settings here. And what I'm gonna do, it's already got my codec set up. Okay, and it's showing no signal from this. So that means it is working. Um, I just want to see if I can get it on a better, I don't know why it's doing full screen, full screen the whole time here. Let's do a little alt enter. No, I'm trying to see if I can get it to minimize a little bit. But that's all right, we can work with this. Um, so what we want to do next is, live recording, updates, hotkeys. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know why it's such a big screen. Um, what we want to do is we wanna go into the settings for the game capture HD. We're gonna set this to other. This will let us get the best like settings for the different devices, how I have it connected. Right now it's set up to connect through this um, HDMI switcher I have hooked up. Um, so this is just the default profile that I'm going to be using for that. Um, we can probably go standard color range is fine. 1080p profile. This device only captures in 1080. Um, cropping should be fine. Standard definition will adjust as it needs to. And I can also make other profiles to fix that as well. So, okay. So we'll go ahead and say, okay, here. 
Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna boot up one of my devices and let's see if it's connecting with the Elgato. And we should get input. Let me see. Okay, so I've got the switch up. Go back to my computer. It is in full screen. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's doing it in a little bit of a way that I wasn't expecting. So, we'll turn this down a little bit. So what it did was it, and now that I have the capture up, it is actually seeing it now. I had to flip my cables, my in and out was switched. Um, so now that that's back up and working, you can see here that I have my switch playing Mario Golf. Um, but there is a little bit of a delay. Um, so if I wanted to actually play while recording like this, I would need to set up a couple other things because right now there's a little bit of lag. Um, but I'm going to do that within OBS because that's going to help me see that a little bit better. Um, but this way I'd be able to actually play and in theory stream at the same time or record at the same time um, with this device hooked up. It's funny, I don't remember when me and my fiance were playing Golf Last, but... It's funny that it was still up and working. But you can see here that it is up and it is recording. Um, so if I was to minimize this again, what I want to do is I want to stop this full screen stuff. And there's a couple other things I want to set up here. So right now I have this flashback on and it's taking up a little bit of data, which is fine. Um, but I'm going to need to adjust some of that as well. So let's go ahead and make some of those changes. So let's go into here, capture. That's all OK. Um, picture is fine, audio is good. So it's not these settings, it's gonna be the main settings here. What we wanna do is we wanna turn off flashback recording. Um, stream command is fine. Let's see here. This is nice too, you can export different devices out in this older version, which is kinda nice. Um, but what I'm looking for is why it's making this all full screen which is okay. It's just uh, taking over more of what I didn't expect. Um, and it doesn't seem to want to cooperate with the Windows features, so I'm just gonna hit Alt-Tab here. And I mean, realistically, we won't be actually using this. So let me actually do Windows Desktop. It's going to bring me back to my desktop. We're not going to be realistically using this. Now we're going to go through the setup and try to use this with um, OBS. So that way we can have a little bit more control. So I'm going to close out Game Capture HD. And the nice thing about having this on a switcher is that way now I can control the input and have uh, the different devices connect uh, how I need to. So right now my switch is in one. Um, I have a Wii over here, a GameCube, and some retro consoles. Um, so we should be having some good things coming soon. Um, so let me go ahead and open up Streamlabs desktop and show you guys how to set that up. How long have I been going for here? 27 minutes. Okay, we're going to have to cut this around a little bit because, I mean, I had to fumble around with this a bit. So just follow along. We're going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up OBS now. So here I'm going to open up Streamlabs desktop. Oh, I moved all the whole row down. Oopsies. Shift those back up there. I'm going to open this up. And that's going to have you sign in. So I already have, so we want to do this with live streaming. Um, let's go ahead and do intermediate since I already have quite a bit of this stuff set up. I'm going to say continue. I do already have a login. I'm going to sign in with Twitch. Okay. And we're just going to, so you'll see here that it's finding my account for Adventures in Gaming. Again, go check out Adventures in Gaming. It's going to pull up all of my information for my stream, including polls and email addresses, my subscriptions and everything. And it's going to, I'm going to authorize that. I have authorized this previously. Um, so now we want to do is we want to, oh, since this is a new computer, it doesn't have all my information. So I guess we'll say start fresh and I'll go ahead and set things up. Um, so... Right now, for the microphone and the webcam, we don't have a whole lot set up for that yet. So I'm going to have to download EpoCam's drivers to actually get it to respond with the computer. So we'll have to do that at another time. 
Um, microphone is going to be default uh, because I don't have the microphone yet set up for this. Um, so we're going to have to say skip for now. Um, we don't want ultra. We're going to go ahead and choose starter. And yep, we're going to be able to do all that. And great. So right off the gate, it does have my previous uh, settings here. So you can see it has some of that stuff that was imported. It shows my feed from before. And it has my kind of webcam set up. So let me go ahead and close out some of these pop-ups here. Um, and this looks good. This is about what I expected. Um, and it has some of my pop-ups for Adventures in Gaming. So that's the nice thing about using the Streamlabs uh, desktop because it does sync it all after a while. Um, now, the only issue is since this was on my other computer, it doesn't. I don't have the Wavelink set up, so I'm going to have to customize this for this machine specifically. And I'm hoping it doesn't affect the other computer. Um, if it does, I just have to save the profile and export it, which I may actually export this just in case. Um, and then just make some new profile stuff and make it fresh. Um, so which that can be another video. I think I've talked about doing a video about profiles in OBS. Remind me below if you guys have seen a video like that or if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but for right now, and I did have a face palm set up here for just camera, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that for a minute. And what we wanna do is we wanna show the game capture. So if you wanna add a new game capture source, actually we probably could do it with the Elgato here. Um, so what we're looking at here is AIG Live Elgato. I already have some default sources here, my webcam and information there, the defaults for my follower goals and stuff like that. But what we're looking at here is we're gonna check, change this capture device. We're gonna right click and go to properties. And I want that to look for my game capture HD. So I'm gonna go ahead first and deactivate that and then reactivate that so that way it actually tries to find the signal from the system and make sure my switch didn't go to sleep. I'm gonna say close for now and we're gonna see if that pops up. And there it is. All right, for the long-winded video, it's been a while since I've recorded. Um, if you liked what you saw below, feel free to leave a comment and make sure you go and subscribe to Facepalm Studio today. Um, I am working on some new projects. I'm gonna notate that in a different video, um, but if you guys are interested in seeing more content, please feel free to subscribe and get the notifications so that way you know what's coming up for Facepalm. And make sure you guys, again, check out Adventures of Gaming. Hopefully we'll have some more content there soon and um, whether it's on streaming or here on YouTube. So until next time, guys, keep creating, save the pain. I definitely had some pain making this video, but we'll see you guys in the next time. Save the pain. Why did I forget my own outro? Keep creating, save the pain. We'll see you in the next video. That's how it works. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, man.